Welcome to part two of the sunglasses tutorial. For this video, we're mainly going to be adjusting the geometry to include the nose piece and as well as adding modifiers. Let's start by going into edit mode and adjusting what we have so far to make sure it matches the reference image in every way. So what I did was added an edge loop and just extruded that face down to approximately the bottom of the nose piece. Um, as you can see, that's not quite right. So we can do another trick here. Um, just go over to your edge selection. You're gonna select a single edge. To select m multiple, you would hold down shift, but we don't need to worry about that. Um, as you can see, this is pretty close. This edge isn't quite there grab um, you can move it along the G and then the Y axis this part's slightly too thick so go over to face select you can fix that however you want to and they, they do not have to perfectly match the reference image can make you can use this as a general guide to make any type of sunglasses that you would like to okay so, so we want the tip to be thinner just like that we probably want an edge loop here so that we can before you click away from the edge loop try and grab it and move it in slightly along the x-axis like that If you notice, I'm pressing one on my number pad to get back to the front view and constantly check that I'm still building the correct geometry. So this looks pretty good. Except for back here. Alrighty, let's add some modifiers now. Go to object mode, you can hit tab to do that. Add your subdivision modifier. This will subdivide your mesh into several faces. There is a little slider over here that you can use to increase or decrease the quality. Keep in mind the higher quality that you use, the more faces Blender will uh, create and the slower your computer will be. So as you can see, whenever you add ed edge loops, it squares out that geometry just slightly. You're gonna want one in the middle so that when we mirror this, it, there isn't a huge seam. That's the most important. You can right click also and hit shade smooth just to really finish the smooth look of the sunglasses. All right, next modifier. And I do not recommend applying the subdivision modifier yet. You'll see why. Okay, let's mirror this. The default is the X axis. You, in case you modeled your sunglasses in a different orientation, you can always change the axis by clicking on X, Y, or Z, checking off those boxes. As you can see, these are too close together. If you grab them in object mode, you'll move the whole object not just one half of the mirror. If you want to move half the mirror, go into edit mode and hit A. A always selects everything and then you can move it apart just like so. As you can see, despite our best efforts, there is still a seam in the middle of the sunglasses. This is okay. I'm going to rotate mine this way slightly, give it more of a natural look. And I need to bring these in those look weird. Ah, it's ro rotated. It's not right. Okay. okay. 
that looks better. Once again, this is not an exact science. You can have a lot of creative freedom if you want to. This final model will be linked in the description below. At this point, the frames are almost done. We're not gonna model hinges in Blender yet, uh, at least not mechanically accurate ones, but we can still try and make room for the um, legs of the glasses or wh whatever you call those just by adding a bit of extra material and a curve to follow. So I'm gonna turn on proportional editing again. We went over that in the earlier video if you haven't watched that yet. Alrighty, I'm happy with the shape. So the next thing we're going to do is quickly make the legs of the sunglasses. Going to start with the cube, move it to wherever you want to move it, it's just for the modeling. Eventually, we are going to move it to the back of the sun, back left of the sunglasses, and then mirror it across. Okay. One thing that might be helpful is going to your side view by pressing three. For you, it may be a different key if you didn't align the model the same way that I did. But let's grab it along the X. Make sure it's somewhat lined up. All right, let's press three again and get to modeling. Make sure you're in orthographic view for this by pressing five on your number pad. At least I find that helpful. Um, click, grab this, grab the whole thing, move it around, do what you have to do. Um, and one thing that might be helpful is if you wanna hide this reference image, you can by clicking on it, going to your image, and you can set it to be visible only from the back or the front. or not at all. You can also hide it, which is what, um, by clicking on, on it in the scene collection. Forgot about that. Okay, almost to 10 minutes. So I, I'm gonna try and do this quickly, but it will still look nice. So one thing, if you remember, you can just start with a very basic cube and add edge loops to get all of the control that you need using the power of proportional editing. Once again, that's very, very thick. So I'm just gonna do click this and control shift picks the shortest path between all the faces, between two faces that you select. I'm gonna move this up. Turns out we don't need such a huge curve up here. So we can just grab that down, grab this edge down, and we're kind of starting to look like a normal pair of sunglasses, except for that curve, it's in the wrong spot, should be more at the end. Um, so you're, at least it, it should be, doesn't have to be though. It will look more natural if it is. If we bring this down slightly. So these are very thin pair of sunglasses. Probably not the best if you wanted to try 3D printing them, but if you had a resin printer, you could. Okay. Anyways, these are really boxy right now, so we're definitely going to want to add the, um, the same modifier that we used for our frames. So let's go over there and do that subdivision and if we're getting the same problem where some of our edges aren't as clearly defined as we would like so we can just add some edge loops that will help us out shade smooth okie dokie so this is very very thin you can add the thicken modifier 
I believe that is modifier. Solidify, sorry. <laughs> so solidify, and then you adjust the thickness. So what if I do 0.2? It makes it slightly thicker, but keep in mind your mesh might start looking weird if you go too thick because it overlaps. So I'm going to do 0.1 uh, meters thicker. It's really just blender units. not. All right, so after a bit of fiddling, we've come up with pretty decent glasses. We're going to do some final touches on the geometry and do some colors in the next tutorial. But for this, we have to quickly add a mirror modifier. And we're going to say this has to be in the middle. So Blender has to know where the mirror point is. We set this up by dragging it in object mode. Next. If it wants to know how far the objects are from that point, you can set that in object uh, edit mode, sorry, and drag them apart dynamically. So now you have an exact copy on both sides. All right. So you learned all about the mirror modifiers, uh, solidify modifier, and different ways to utilize those and get the results that you want. Hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comments section. I try and check that um, consistently.